Yes, you are the Lord. Oh, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord. Because you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord.
souls and our hearts and our spirits close to the throne of mercy as we allow our hearts to open up and interact with our maker Jesus. we interact with our creator as we express our adoration our reverence our love Hallelujah. our admiration to the great I am Jesus, brothers and sisters, nothing else can we bring to our Father apart from our souls and our spirits. Dear loving Father, your children are gathered all over. Some listening and joining this worship service through their televisions, others through YouTube but all of us we join our efforts and we come before you in adoration Jesus you are the great shepherd we choose to bow before you tunatangaza wema na ukuwa Mahali popote pale mutazamaji wetu yuko tunatangaza wema wako na sifa zako yes, umetenda sisi wote mema umetetea maisha yetu umetujenga umepigana vita zetu umetunusuru na mtego wa muidaji tulipangiwa mabaya haukuruhusu yatendeke our father and our god Hizo heshima zote na ibada ni wewe tumetolea. Na tunatangaza ya kwamba popote pale runinga hii imefunguliwa neema yako iweze kufikia hao watu wa Mungu. Kibari chako kiweze kuwafikia. Wale ambao ni wagonjwa Mungu weze kuwaponya. Iwe ni asubuhi ama iwe ni jioni. Yule yote ambaye anatazama Bwana tunaoba neema yako iweze kuwafikia. Nguvu zako ziweze kuwafunika. Neema yako iweze kuwafunika. Mkono wako uweze kuingilia kati. Fix the issues Lord of that family. Unganisha huyo dugu na huyo danda. Na kiti cha neema Bwana. Unganisha na uwezo wako. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit we surrender this fellowship to you. We surrender the meeting to your power. As we fellowship with our viewers this morning or this evening, Lord, we pray as we hear your word, it is you who is going to communicate. As we are going to worship, it will give you praise and glory and adoration. Lord, as we are going to sing psalms, they are going to edify our hearts and to guide us in the ways of truth and righteousness. Yes, Lord. 
kutendea watu wako. Roho mtakatifu atuwezi bila wewe. Atuwezi. Tujaze mafuta ya siku ya leo. Tupe kibali ya siku ya leo. Tupe neema ya siku ya leo. In the name of Jesus. We can say a believing amen. 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 Basi our viewers we thank you so much. Ni kwa sababu ya kuweza kuunganika pamoja nasi. Hii ni ibada ya jioni ama ni ibada ya asubuhi masaa yote yale ambayo unatazama na ibada ni kumaanisha ya kwamba sisi tukiwa hapa na we ukiwa pale nyumbani tunaunganisha mioyo yetu pamoja na tunaileta bere za Bwana na tunapata nafasi nzuri ya kuweza kumimina mioyo yetu na tuweze kubarikiwa pamoja Patrick Jao together with the Beneza Grace Ministry na kwa neema ya Mungu tutakuwa pamoja tukiletea Mungu ibada zetu tukimuletea our devotion na pamoja na hayo tukiweza kufungua masikio yetu na kuturize mioyo yetu ili tumuruhusu Bwana aweze kuzungumza nasi kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lake ningeomba tuweze ku soma zaburi um, i mean sio zaburi proverbs tutasoma proverbs Midhali Midhali tutasoma Midhali tatu Proverbs chapter 3 And we are going to hear what The great shepherd is saying to us today This week tumekua Tukitazama kumuhusu Kristo Yesu As our great shepherd Ambaye Ni mchugaji wetu Ni mwerekezi wetu Na tumekua tukitazama kazi ambayo aliweza kuimariza ni kwa sababu yetu na tukasema ya kwamba we dig deeper na tulikuwa tukitazama hata siku ya jana ya kwamba the kingdom of god is all about discoveries mambo ambayo hujayatambua mambo ambayo hawajajua hayawezi yakakusaidia so the word of god hufunuliwa kwetu na likifunuliwa kwetu linatuletea mwangaza linatusaidia kumwamini mungu linatusaidia kukaa vizuri ndani ya Kristo. Kwa hivyo it is very necessary to eat the word of God, to put the word of God in your heart, you surround yourself with positive information about what God is saying about your life. Na pia neno la Mungu lina uwezo wa kukua. Ni begu. Yesu Kristo alisema ya kwamba the word is a seed. Na wakati begu imepandwa mahali na imepaliliwa na inapata maji, huwa inamea, inaota na inapata uwezo. So my brother and my sister saw the word of God in your heart. Asubuhi panda, jioni lipande, and as you continue sowing this word, maneno ya Mungu, it is life and spirit yako na uhai. If you surround your heart, you surround your soul, you surround your mind with the positive information with the word of God. Na hili neno dio liliuba bingu na inchi. It you start creating things, positive things in your life. Itaweza kuodoa uovu itaweza kukutengeneza na kusababisha maisha yako ya kuwe vile Mungu angetaka ukue. So we are reading Proverbs chapter 3. Na tusikie what the shepherd is saying is saying is saying to us this day. Proverbs 3 chapter chapter 3 verse 5 and verse 6. The Bible says verse 5 Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Today even ya subuhi ama even ni jioni the great shepherd the great I am our master and our Jesus is speaking to my heart and is speaking to your heart my brother and my sister child of god and the lord is telling you trust in him trust in the lord with all your heart do you trust god mungu ana space katika maisha yako mungu ana kuhimiza ya kwamba moyo wako wote uweze kumwamini mungu god was there God is there and God will always be there. He is above all things. 
and there is nothing impossible with him. What is troubling you? What is weighing you down? What is making you to feel afraid? The Bible is encouraging us that we should put our trust yes. upon the Lord with every part, every bit of our hearts. And we should not lean in our own understanding. Mawazo yetu mara nyingi huwa hostile with what the Bible says. Na watu wanaona ni kana kwamba vile unafikilia the fears, the voices, na mabo ambayo meyasikia na watu yanaleta hofu katika maisha yako. Kwa sababu, Biblia ikiongea kuhusu ya kwamba do not lean in your own understanding. It knows, or God knows, unaweza kuwa, unalin, ama unalilae na vile unaelewa mambo. But the Bible is telling us to put our trust upon the Lord and not to lean in our own understanding. Najua ya kwamba siku nyingi ama mara nyingi ni wakati unaangalia mambo na perspective ya humanity na kuangalia kwa mawazo yako na kwa akili zako na kwa your analysis unaona haya mambo labda yameharibika ama unaona hapa hakuna hope ama unaona hili jambo haliwezekani lakini things of god are things of faith sisemi usifikirie but the bible is cautioning you do not lead on your own understanding god is beyond logic God is beyond carnality. God is beyond what you think. Oh, yes. God is beyond what doctor may say. Yes. God is beyond that. He is eternal. Hata daktari huponya, yani tibu lakini Mungu ndiye huleta uponyaji. The life or the things of the spirit are complex. And all we can do is to trust. Trust upon what the Lord says. Put your trust upon him. Hata yale mambo ambayo ni mazito hakuna mahali pengine unaweza kuyapeleka. So I'm encouraging you my brother. Kuna uzito unapitia labda kuna hali imekufinya, imekudisorient. Maisha yako nasikia ya kwamba yako kando. You have no peace. Is the high time for you to trust what God is saying. Kwa sababu hata usipoamini hili neno, hata usipomwamini Mungu, haitabadilika hiyo hali. And the devil will take advantage. The Bible tells me and the Bible tells you trust upon the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. How you understand that situation usifuate hiyo. How you understand, how you think, your small minds, God is beyond that. Put make a choice today. Despite whatever you are going through, say I'm going to trust upon the Lord kwa hii issue. Tumeona watu wengi waliamini Mungu kukiwa na crisis, kukiwa na shida, wakiwa wamefungiwa manyumba, wakiwa wame magonjwa, wakiwa wamelemewa, wakiwa wamefika hakuna wamefika mwisho na Mungu akaweza kuingilia pale. There's somebody ya Bayer indibariki sana alisema ya kwamba it doesn't matter what is the question but Jesus is the answer. So haijarishi swali ni gani ulionayo. Haijarishi situation yako ni gani. Jesus is the answer. He is saying trust upon me. Come and put your trust upon me. And the Bible says verse 4. I mean verse 6. He know your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. In all your ways acknowledge him. Ni mara ngapi tumefanya mambo pasipo kuona picha ya Mungu? So asigine tunaenda tunakopa pesa, you don't acknowledge God, neither do you seek his counsel. Wakati mwingine tunachukua hatua, tunatafuta shule za kupeleka watoto, tunatafuta nyumba, tunafanya vitu, tunatafuta spouses wale hawajaoa ama kuolewa, unatafuta mchumba, you don't acknowledge God. God is your father. God is your mentor. God is your instructor. God is your teacher. The Bible is encouraging me and is encouraging you, my brother and my sister, child of God. Ya kwamba, in all your ways, acknowledge Jehovah. Jesus. Engage him. Involve him. Usifanya mbabo kwa kujitangulia. Kama ni ya subuhi na wachi ikipindi, involve God. Oh, yes. Kwa yali mbabo ambayo ya kobele yako. Kwa zile shuguli ulizo na azo bere yako. Oh. Hata hiyo gari kuweza kutembea ikufikishe pale. Ni mukono wa mungu. Yes. Iyo biashara kufanikiwa. Ni mukono wa mungu. Kuwa na afya nzuri. Ni mukono wa mungu. Usionde ya tutu pesa. Usionde tu wachi. 
kuna mambo pesa haziwezi fanya oh, yes. kuna suruhisho ambazo hazitoki kwa pesa hazitoki kwa wanadamu hazitoki katika ulimwengu huu is all about god hata wakati umepata chakula mkono wako kuweza kunyoshwa hivi na uchukue hiyo chakula god is involved ni anakupatia hizo nguvu and the bible is telling us and encouraging us in all your ways acknowledge the lord and he will make your ways straight he will make straight your paths atazilainisha na azitengeneze tukitaka tuweze kuwa na wakati wa kuiba wibo moja na tutakuwa tukitereka mahitaji yetu bere za bwana you be putting that or you be you be lifting that that anxiety that fear that worry that you have that need before the lord as you be singing these songs i'll be singing this song tutakuwa tunamwambia bwana today i choose to acknowledge you i choose to surrender this issue before you i choose to surrender my life before you and the lord and my god just as you are saying you make straight my paths na joy itatendeka hivyo so welcome praise and worship lead us as we worship the lord and my view wherever you are watch hiyo hitaji lijulikane na bwana lizungumuze muwe nkichi ombea maisha yako ombea activities zilizo bere yako and you make straight your paths in jesus name kuinua imani yako kwa Mungu na sisi wote mahali ambapo tuko Mungu wetu usikia maombi tutaenda kuomba pamoja na wewe sijui kile unapitia katika moyo wako sijui hitaji ambalo uko nalo lakini Bwana analielewa vizuri anaiona kwa siri hakuna jambo lililofichika ndani yake God is not a liar. Amesema ya kwamba trust upon me Jesus. with all your heart and lean not in your own understanding. What do you understand? What are people saying over that situation? Daktari amesema nini? That is his understanding. Hali na kaaj. Can you make a choice? put your trust upon the lord sema sitajipigania tena i surrender this family to the hands of god jesus i surrender this case to the hands of god 
I surrender this situation to the hands of God. I surrender my family. I surrender my children. I surrender my business. I surrender how I want to ambao wananipinga na kupigana na maisha yako. Maisha yangu. Take your warfare to God. Take your case to God. Yes, God. Na sisi wote tutaunganisha imani yetu pamoja. With all our needs. Macho ya Mungu huangalia yakitazama mahitaji na mioyo ya wanadamu tuombe pamoja na uweke imani yako kwa Mungu baba wetu sisi ni wanao na wapenda sana sisi sio watoto mayatima hatukuacho hapa duniani tuteswe na shetani na tusipokuwa na wakutusaidia Yesu mwana wa Mungu ulijitoa mwenyewe kasema utashuka utateremka duniani uweze kuwaokoa na kuwakopoa uzao wa Mungu na ukasema hatutateseka tena ndio bwana Luka ina yatuelezea vizuri ya kwamba ulishuka ukiwa na agenda na mission ya kuweza kuwafungua waliofungwa kufungua macho ya, pi, ya vipofu walioseto na kuteswa na ibirisi waweze kuachiliwa Yesu ulifungiwa in a wailing post ukapigwa mijerendi 39 ili maumivu yetu na mateso yetu yafike pale wewe uliyekemea mapepo yakatoweka wewe uliondolea watu mateso yao Jesus we run into you this hour we bring our knees into you God there is nothing impossible with you Tumechagua kuniamini neno lako. Umesema tusidipendi na mawazo yetu. Tusijitiganie hii vita. Tusijielekeze. But you have encouraged us this hour that Lord we should put our trust upon you with all our heart. Jehovah we surrender these issues. Unajua huyo mtazamaji wetu. Unajua issue yake. Unaielewa vizuri. Hakuna jambo usiloweza kulitenda. Tunaunganisha imani yetu pamoja. Tunasukuma hilo hitaji katika kiti cha neema. Wale ni wagonjwa magonjwa yawaachilie. Wale Bwana wanapitia mateso. Wale ambao wameteswa na nguvu za giza zikose uwezo juu ya maisha yao. Wengine wameshikwa na roho ya uoga. Wengine wameshikwa na spirit of fear. Wengine wanateswa usiku na mchana na nguvu za giza. Wengine wameonewa. Wengine they feel insecure. My God and my Father, wengine wana challenges za kifinances. Wamejaribu kutafuta kazi na wamekosa. Kupitia neema hii Bwana, kupitia mwanya huu ambao umetufungulia. Sikiza dua za watu wako, sikiza maombi ya watu wako. Tunasimama juu ya hili neno. Umesema tusiogope Bwana. Tukurete mahitaji yetu. Tunayareta bere zako. Tetea watu wako Bwana. Na, pigana vita zao shikiria maisha yao wali fresh upia bwana vikombe vyao viweze kutiriki kupu, kuja tena katika jina la Yesu tunakibia miguni pwako tunakibia miguni mwako tunareta mahitaji yote bwana unayesikia maombi unayejibu maombi unayetetea watu wako unayowasaidia Bariki yo familia bwana bariki yo nyumba bariki hao watoto kuza maisha ya huyo mzee ambaye amekuwa trouble sam katika hiyo familia kuza maisha ya huyo mama una uwezo wa kubadilisha mioyo yao tunasimama katika mwanya tunaomba kama wateule popote pale tumetapaka tunaweka imani yetu pamoja tunamulilia Mungu katika jina la Yesu Bwana tunaombea anga ya maeneo ambayo yameakirishwa na watu wako. Tunatangaza ya kwamba kutakuwa na ufufio wa ajabu. We declare great revival in the name of Jesus. Vifuniko ambavyo vimefunika maeneo. Roho za ukahaba, roho za utangaji wa bangi, 
rohoza pombe rohoza corruption rohoza violence rohoza witchcraft tutazi pasua tukiwa pamoja tukiwa pamoja unasema ya kwamba mmoja atafukuza watu elfu wawili watafukuza 10000 tunaweka imani yetu pamoja kama watoto wa Mungu popote pale runinga imefunguliwa popote pale wanatazama we bring down every principality tunavunja every canopy we pierce every canopy we break every power in the mighty name of Jesus tunatangaza moto wa Mungu tunainua bendera ya Simba wa Yuda imeinuliwa kwa hiyo familia imeinuliwa kwa haya maeneo popote pale wanatazamia popote pale wanatazama even the east land even the west land even in other and the south we declare the power of God in the name of Jesus Jesus we pray for revival we pray for divine awakening Watu wa Mungu hawatazimwa. Yes. Tunafukuza roho za korona. Oh, yes. Roho za magonjo. Yes. Roho za kansa. Yes. Hazitainuliwa katika In taifa hili. Yes. Katika taifa letu. Yes. Tunakemea hayo maroho. Yes. Roho za kunyonga watu. Oh, yes. Roho za umasikire. Roho za kupora taifa letu. Yes. Tunazileta jina of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Father we pray for your spirit to take preeminence. Yes Lord. Roho wa Bwana chukua usukani. Chukua usukani. Tawara huyo dada. Muhakisha kiberiti upya. Akisha huyo dugu kiberiti. Roho wa Bwana. Waza kumuinua tena. Haendele kuinua kazi yako. Inua huyo dugu Bwana. Hapa yako discouraged. Tunaomba moyo wake utapata nguvu. Atapata joto ya maombi. Ataanza kulisoma neno lako yes, katika jina la Yesu yes, waliopotelea kwa dhambi yes, tunatangaza watoto wetu yes, hawatabebwa na dhambi wazee wetu yes, kina mama wetu yes, hawatabebwa na uovu yes, we claim them back yes, we claim them back yes, we bind the strong man yes, we bind him now yes, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus popote pale hii mitambo inafika We declare the power of God. Mtoto wa Mungu popote pale ulipo. Yes. Sisi ni kuhot, sisi ni jeshi moja. Yes. Tangaza katika hiyo eneo kwamba oh. bendera ya Yesu imefunuliwa. Yes, popote Lord. pale ulipo my brother yes. and my sister. Yes. Maneno yako yako na uwezo. Yes, Sema bendera ya Yesu imeinuliwa hapa yes, kwa hiyo familia, yes, kwa maisha yako, yes, kwa kazi yako. Anaidhuriwa juu tutainuka hatutanyamaza hatutasuria hatutazimwa hatutafunikwa we are right shaka ya mazeta maganda rako baba baba zeta maganda resheta ya maganda seka ya baba seta ya haya hey no what you ya mawazo ya ya kila kitu umetukuka umeya baganduru baza Jesus in the name of Jesus. and worship popote pale tulipo. Tutainua mikono yetu na tuseme nani kama wewe. Tumwambie hakuna kama wewe. Tuseme nani kama yeye ambaye ameinuliwa mahali huko, ameinuliwa kwa familia yako, ameinuliwa kwa taifa letu. Hatutakubali kunyamaza taifa hili litakuwa Rukwe Herod hostage na watu ambao ni waovu na wachawi na watu ambao hawalitaki hawataki watoto wetu roho za madawa ya kurevia roho za uchawi roho zote za corruption children of god hatutanyamaza we are rising in the name of jesus na tuseme bwana inuriwe madui zake watawanyike kwa hivyo tukiba hii wimbo tangaza hakuna kama yeye katika taifa letu katika wasi to Nairobi katika maisha yetu in Jesus name amen, amen. na ni kama wewe na kuinua Mungu wangu leo ni nani kama wewe na kupenda na ni kama wewe na kuinua Mungu wangu leo nani kama wewe nakupenda
nenda sema ni nani baba nani kama we sina nakuinua mungu wangu ne baba nani kama we wewe mungu wangu nakupenda usiyeshindwa baba yangu nani kama we sina mwingine Mwenye uwezo wote Mwenye uzima wangu ni wewe baba Nani kama wewe na kupenda Usiye mwazo wala mwisho Mwenye uwezo wote ni wewe baba Nani kama wewe na kupenda Ibani nani baba Nani kama we Hakuna Mkwino wa mungu wangu le Hakuna Nani kama we Na kupenda Oh nani kama we we Bwana What you may be going through, there is none like our God. It's not like you. His power is the most high power. It's not like is the greatest you. power there is. Shetani and Ezataka Kureta Picha Kukonisha Nikana Kwamba, Wanashidana na Mungu. But God is the ultimate. He's the most powerful. Now, Villa Mesamaya Kwamba, put your trust upon Him. Lean not on your own understanding. He will make straight your paths when you acknowledge him in your life. Oh, yes. May you make this decision. Na itakuwa haina maana. Kama utasikia haya mambo na yapandwe katika moyo wako, hatimaye ikuwe ni kama ule mtoto anapewa chakula na badala ya kumeza anaitoa. Neno la Mungu kuwa na maana katika maisha yako kama you put it to practice. Mambo yaliyokushtua, mambo uliyokuwa umebeba, mambo ambayo yalikuwa yamekuweka hofu, tread them Yabadilishe na imani Trade them with your faith Put them aside Na mungu huleta neno kwa wakati wake Ili liweze kukusaidia Sababu yako kufungulia iruninga Ama ni kama nisimu na watch kwa, 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 kwa YouTube Wakati kama huu Na masaa kama haya Na usiwe katika station ingine mama halipengine Ni kwa sababu God through his spirit He knows what you are going through And he needs this word Word of the time So take the word Sow it in your heart Trade your fears, trade your anxiety with faith in God. Choose to trust upon Him and He's going to establish your ways. May the Lord bless you. 
Uh, tumetaka tuangalie uh, in our last segment tumekuwa katika hali yetu ya kuomba wiki hii tumekuwa tukiombea kanisa la Kristo na watu wa Mungu ni vizuri kusema ya kwamba the church of God has the solution for this world ulimwengu huu kanisa la Kristo watu wa Mungu we are the agents that God is going to use to transform communities to transform nations to transform families na wakati kanisa limezima how great is the darkness ambayo hufunika ulimwengu Mungu hatakuja tembee hapa ati usikie Yesu akoka wangora akitembea ama usikie alionekana kireleshwa ama usikie alionekana Mombasa Yesu hata tembea hapa kwa miguu He uses human vessels. Na wewe ndiye hicho chombo ambacho Yesu ataingia ndani yako aweze kukutumia kuweza kuleta suluhisho. Kuna watu ambao watainuliwa katika taifa hili katika mwili wa Kristo. Watu ambao wana vipawa majeshi wa Kristo ambao wameandaliwa. And so brothers and sisters, we must discover this lazima tujue sisi ndio tumeaminiwa haya yes. na nimekuwa nikijiuliza watu wa kizazi hiki chetu ambao tunaishi siku hii ya leo kama hata utasimama na tumuruhusu Mungu aangaze ulimwengu kwa maana sisi hatuna nuru yetu wenyewe we don't have our own light we don't have our own power lakini ni vizuri tujue ya kwamba ni wakati tumejiweka kama vyombo Vyombo ambavyo ni safi, vyombo ambavyo ni tayari, tuwe tayari kubeba Mungu ndani yetu. Mungu hatakuja hapa aza kufanya kazi, lazima atumie a vessel, a human vessel. Yes. And you are the vessel. Na nimekuwa nikijiuliza, if we are not going to stand up, kama hatutaruhusu Mungu atutumie katika kizazi hiki, tutaambia wale wengine namna gani? Wakati tutaenda mbinguni na tusikie watu ambao waliaminiwa vizazi vyao yale mambo ambao waliyafanya amidst darkness wakasimama akina Gideon hata kuendelea hivyo ikafika wakati wa mitume akina Peter they stood akina Paul wakasimama hata katika vizazi vyetu watu kama kina Martin Luther walisimama kuna revivalist ambao walisimama nyakati zao na wakasema ya kwamba i will carry god in my life I will allow God to use me. Kama sisi katika miaka hii yetu tutaendelea kwa kipindi cha giza na tukose kuruhusu Mungu atutumie, tutasema nini? Itakuwa very embarrassing. Wakati watu wote wamekusanyika pale mbinguni na labda people narrate about their generations, mi niliishi mwaka fulani, niliishi miaka fulani, sisi ambao tunaishi 20th century na 20th century tutasema nini wa brother is the high time tuweze kusimama because our god is the same church yesterday today and forever our god has not changed na hii generation tusiposimama tusiporuhusu mungu atutumie yawezekana wale watakuja baada yetu watasimama na waruhusu mungu awatumie is a high time tujue ya kwamba dunia haitabadilishwa na pesa watu wana pesa kama mtu wa mungu latavuta pesa kuna watu wana pesa Mataifa ambayo yameshikilia pesa hata hawamjui Mungu. Mataifa kama China wako na utajiri mwingi. Mataifa mengine kama India, mataifa mengine kama kama Japan yana utajiri mwingi. But they are not Christians. It is not about the issue of money and wealth that is going to change and transform the world. It's only when we are out Jesus deep inside us aweze kuwa nuru aweze kuangaza kufanyike mambo ambayo pesa ziwezi zikafanyika zikafanya na watu waanze kuona ya kwamba kwa kweli hawa watu wanatembea na Mungu kwenda kuambia mtu ya kwamba mimi ni Mkristo hata yeye atakwambia niko na dini yangu kwa hivyo kuongea haitoshi hai, hai na ni lazima tujiuliza what do we need to do na kwa dakika chache Nikitaka tuweze kuangalia kama watu wa Mungu the role of the Holy Spirit in the church kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu kanisani Amen. Tumeangalia Mathayo 13:44 na tukaona ufalme wa Mungu is all about discovery Ulifananishwa na mtu ambaye alienda akaona kuna gold imefichwa katika shamba fulani 
akauza vitu vyote akanunua hako kashaa hata kama kalikuwa kadogo kwa maana alijua kuna dhahabu pale so unless we discover the power of the holy spirit the role of the holy spirit in the church kandiso la bwana tutaweza kuishi tukisema story nzuri tukileta neno nzuri lakini ambalo halina effect na kubadilisha watu na ningetaka tuangalie kwa maandiko tuone kazi ya roho mtakatifu na ili hata ukiendelea kuomba kwa sababu sio tu kwa hii kipindi this is something that should be born inside you na uanze kuchokozeka na kuhisi ya kwamba sitanyamaza sitatulia ikukiendelea hivi hata wa freedom fighters walifika mahali wakachoka na ubeberu mtu akasimama na akasema ya kwamba we must do something something must happen i started to be counted na wale watu wakakuwa freedom fighters ambao waliongoza watu wakaokobolewa kwa mikono ya watesaji wetu so lazima uchokozeke jambo lizalike ndani yako mtu wa Mungu na uhisi ya kwamba i will not be silent mpaka nuru ya Mungu iweze kuangaza nataka tuone Luke 3:15 Tusikie Biblia inasema nini Luka 3:15 Luke 3:15 Yohana anasema hivi As the people were in expectation and were questioning their hearts concerning John whether he might be Christ John answered them all saying I baptize you with water but who is mightier than me is coming and the strap of his sandals I'm not worthy to untie he will baptize you with the holy spirit and he will baptize you with fire Yohana akasema ya kwamba kazi yangu iko chini sana mimi ninawahubiria na ninawabatiza baptizo ni kufunikwa na maji ikiwa ni njia ya confession ya kwamba niko tayari kufuata hii barabara akawaambia mimi ni maji nimekuwa nikiwafunika nayo lakini akawaambia ya kwamba nyumba yangu kuna mwingine ambaye hata sistahili kufungua kamba za viatu yake na akasema ni atawabatiza ubatizo ambao ni wa roho mtakatifu one na atawabatiza na moto In other words ni kumaanisha ya kwamba nyinyi mtafunikwa na huyu roho mtakatifu na pia mtaweza kubatizwa na moto maana yake ni gani tunaona ya kwamba roho mtakatifu wakati mtu ameokoka ni yeye huwa anakuvuta kwa Mungu na wakati umekubali Yesu anafanya what we call regeneration anasababisha nafsi yako your spirit ipate uhai kwa maana usipozaliwa na roho huwezi pata kuona wokovu huwezi pata uzima wa milele so your spirit is dead before you are born again na wakati umeokoka the dead spirit inapatiwa life unapata resurrection what we call regeneration na ni kazi ya roho mtakatifu na kutoka hapo roho mtakatifu anakufanyia kazi nyingine ya sanctification anaenda akikutakaza anaenda akikubadilisha na ule utakazo is a process ambayo saa zingine ni uchungu kwa sababu kuna hali ya kuoshwa na kufanywa uache vitu fulani na nataka kuamini ya kwamba maybe this is where fire comes tunaona ya kwamba wakati walipokea roho mtakatifu alishuka kama dimi za moto na ukiangalia pia katika isaia 65 tunaona isaia akisema ya kwamba mimi ni mwenye dhambi na kukaonekana kerubi abaya aliingia pale maraika kwa jiko akachukua makaa akawekelea kinywa chake kikawa safi the process of the holy spirit is to cleanse you oh, yes. and akutakaza mtu wa Mungu kazi yake pamoja na kukutia nguvu yes. anakutakaza chuma ambayo ni safi sana hutakazwa na moto kwa hivyo kuna hali ya kusaidiwa kuacha vitu zinaanza kumwagika vile temperature inaenda ikipanda kuna vitu na 
kuhamishwa nazo so the spirit of god empowers you and he also helps you to become like god utakazike uwe chombo kizuri cha kutumika amen na tunaona ya kwamba paulo anasema katika waefeso 5:18 musilewe na pombe bali mulewe na roho mtakatifu mtu ambaye ni mulevi huwa anaelekezwa na pombe anaongea through pombe anafanya vituko juu ni pombe biblia inasema ya kwamba tuweze kuwa walevi na tuwe walevi ambao wamelewa na roho mtakatifu amen juzi kuna mchungaji ambaye alinjeshikesha kidogo alifanya nicheke kwa sababu aliniambia ninafikiria makanisa yanafungwa wakati clubs inafungwa kwa sababu hizi institution mbili ni za walevi clubs ziko na walevi wa pombe nayo na sisi makanisa tunafaa kuwa walevi lakini sio walevi wa pombe Paulo anasema kwamba tulewe na Roho Mtakatifu. Alikuwa na beki fan lakini nikaona pia kweli tunafaa kuwa watu ambao wamelewa na Mungu. Kanisa inafaa kuwa mahali pa walevi. Watu ambao hawajitawali wamelewa na Mungu na wanaelekezwa na Mungu. Nataka nisome the last verse na hatimaye tutaweza kuliombea kanisa. Warumi nane Mustari wa 14 Biblia sema ya kwamba for all who are led by the spirit of God they are the sons of God wote wanaongozwa na roho mtakatifu hao ni wana wa Mungu watumishi wa Bwana the church of God the time has come for us to allow the holy ghost to lead the church to lead your life na ukiongozwa lazima mmoja wenu anaye kuongoza ama we unayeongozwa aweze ku his will mtu ambaye anaongozwa lazima asalimishe mapenzi yake na in this case lazima kanisa mitume watu gaji watu waliookoka tusalimishe mapenzi yetu na tuwalao the holy spirit atulewe atuongoze na atuelekeze unless church of god we allow god through his holy spirit to have his way in the church we are not going to experience the revival we are expecting tunapata ya kwamba hata wengine ambao sisi ni wachungaji unatengeneza sermon unajua ile kitu unaenda kuhubiri lakini unaenda kuitisha nguvu kwa Mungu in other words hauja allow Mungu aongelee aongeleshe watu umepanga hatimaye unataka energy ya kufanya kile unataka kama kanisa litaingia katika hard destiny kama kanisa litaleta radical revival my brother and my sister we must yield lazima usalimishe mapenzi yako najua una kazi unafanya najua una utoto unalea unajua una mipango unataka kununua manyumba unataka kununua magali unataka kufanya vile watu wengine wanafanya but unless you deny yourself you forfeit your will you forfeit your desire you allow the spirit of god to lead you those who are led by the spirit of god they are the children of god we want to see the children of god ambao watatembea na ishara na maajabu ambao wata reform the world ambao wataleta solution we must now be ready to forfeit our desires to forfeit our will and we allow the holy spirit of god to lead us child of god obey my shayako you need before the holy spirit what be a lord i am here now to sarimisha koko bwana na kutorea maisha yako i choose to allow you Holy Spirit have your way in my heart have your way in my soul have your way in my spirit shakaya mazeta ya baganda in the name of Jesus to be used by you in the name of Jesus Christ sitaka tuweze kufanya ombi na mwisho tukimalizie baba wetu kwa jina la Yesu wewe diwe ulikuja na idea ya kanisa lako. Yes, na kanisa lako lilizaliwa wakati ulimtuma Yesu mwana. Na alikuja na agenda na program ya vile kanisa hili 
na kazi yako inafaa kufanya. Kahidi wanafunzi ya kwamba utawatumia msaidizi ambaye ni Roho Mtakatifu baya tawaelekeza kwa kweli yote na ambaye kupitia yeye wataweza kufanya mambo makubwa. Na tuliona Roho akiwasaidia wakafanya ishara. Roho kawasaidia kawaelekeza kufanya kazi yako akawapatia hekima na maarifa wakati walijisalimisha wakajikana wakajikataa tunaombea kanisa la siku ya leo Mungu uweze kutusamehe mahali tumejitangulia tumenyima roho mtakatifu nafasi kanisa limekaukiwa kanisa limekosa kuwa ifeti tumejenga manyumba kweli tuko na madhini sinagogi kweli tuna watu wengi kweli lakini hatuna uzima Holy Spirit, you are the one who gives life. We welcome you back. To now be who your brother, who your sister. To now be how to be sure, Boana. Hamba wa mekata kauli na kukufuata. We pray that Lord, you are going to read things. Bless all your people. Wale wanaeda kazi wa bariki. Wale ambao wana lala waze kuwa bariki. Nema yako iwe pamoja na asi. Tumejunga nisha na rom takatifu. Na tunamini kuanzia leo. We allow the Spirit of God to lead us. In, the name In Jesus' name, Jesus. we can say Amen. Amen. Basi tuweza kubarikiwa sana. Tarao the praise and worship atuerekeze. Tuibe nyiwibo wa mwisho tukimalizia. Ote tuunanekesho kwa nema ya mungu. As we continue building on the same. Na tukiangalia vile tuneza ruhusu mungu. Aweze kukontrol maisha yetu. Na akirishe papazi yake in our lives. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Uweze kubarikiwa sana. Praise and worship. Tu rekeza tafadhali. He has done so much for me. I cannot tear it all. Say. If I had ten thousand tongues, this still could be enough. We say, Chukuna go molele. When you heal, you heal completely. Chukumara bima. What shall I, what shall I render to Jehovah, for he has done, for he has done so very much for me. What shall I, what shall I render oh, 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 to Jehovah.